What is up, y'all? I'm Andy Story with Wild Lumens, and in today's video, my older brother, Luke Story of the Lifestylist Podcast, is going to show us all how to use the amazing Iris app and software to reduce the blue light on your computer. My brother basically shows us his settings and how he uses Iris on his personal computer. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you want to learn more about blue light, check out this video I did with him where he drops tons of knowledge for about 40 minutes. You're going to love it. So this is the app I was referring to earlier called Iris. There's another one called Flux that some people recommend and use. However, Iris is far superior due to the fact that it has a much higher capacity to limit blue light and create a red or amber screen. It also reduces the amount of flicker. When I was talking about flicker before coming from most LED lighting, televisions, monitors, screens also produce a fair amount of flicker. Now with each generation of computer and television, they're working to minimize the flicker because the manufacturers are aware of this phenomenon, but it still exists and the Iris app helps to mitigate some degree of that flicker. So this is what my screen looks like with no iris. That's the amount of blue light coming off it, right? And if you wanted to make the situation worse at night, you would illuminate your keyboard, which also produces a tremendous amount of blue light. We can go into the custom settings and I can actually change the degree of blue light that's present on my screen during the day. So if I was in an office environment doing emails and doing work that didn't require me to see true colors or anything like that, I could keep that on a very low setting. As you can see, it's quite amber. If I was doing daytime work that I needed to see truer colors and I found it to be annoying or distracting to have it so amber, I can adjust that level. But even at the highest level of blue light, it's way less than if that blue light is the native light that comes with the computer. So you can see the, the vast difference between those two options there. Going back into the settings, I can change the blue light during the day and then also the night light. And this is set to the actual time, so it knows based on the clock on your computer when day or night is. But I can set the day or night timer, I mean the uh, degree of light, brightness, and also the temperature right here. Now the thing to remember is if you want to adjust, if you're using Iris and you want to adjust the brightness of your screen, don't use the bright button on your computer because that creates more flicker. So if I wanted to make my screen right now because it was late at night darker and I'm using the native darkness button on the computer, it's going to create more flicker. So I keep that maxed out and I go into the Iris settings and I lower it in the settings. So that's how to work Iris manually. Now, if I want to use the presets in Iris, I can just choose the ones that are already there. So health is the one that I would just use all the time. If it was getting late at night, I would go into sleep mode. And so you can see here how much different that is. It's quite amber. If you wanted to really go gangster and use it for um, you know, late, late night, you could go into biohacker mode, which is completely dark mode and red. That's the most extreme version. Uh, and then there's a movie version, which doesn't look much different, but it does limit that very sharp, narrow spectrum of light, but you can still see that you could enjoy TV or a movie. And then um, overlay, I'm not sure what that means. I've never used that one. And now my computer is going and you're done. Uh, if you wanted to just read something at night, you can go black and white. Still has a bit of blue, but there's no colors. So if there's a low light environment, it's easier to read in black and white than with all, than with all sort of distracting colors. There's a programming mode, which is literally for programmers. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can use um, Iris. I just, again, keep it on the health setting all the time and it's, far superior to Flux. I mean, I'm grateful that they exist and, you know, God bless them, but they just don't have the features as Iris. And last I checked, Iris was about uh, $10 for the software. And once you install it, it's just there. And then there might be a small monthly fee of a dollar or two or something like that. Uh, that seems to change a lot. But this is a really great way to just like not have to wear those glasses at night. 
If you've got all amber light inside the house, you do your work on your computer using the amber setting and you're good to go. So that's how you do it on a computer. Now we'll go ahead and go into how to create this same sort of setting on an iPhone.